many women will have experienced that feeling that once they hit a certain age, they become invisible, professional women can find themselves routinely discarded when they reach middle age, despite the fact that they have wisdom and experience and are, in fact, at the peak of their powers. Now, new research suggests that age discrimination in the UK across both genders increased over the pandemic. Research by the ageing advice group Rest Less found that complaints of age discrimination to employment tribunals in fact increased by 83% during the lockdown. So let's discuss this further with Carol Russell, who's a hugely successful television scriptwriter, and Jane Evans, a former high-flying advertising executive. Both of you have experienced the ageism that sidelines what is described as midlife women, and you are in fact fighting back. You've co-authored a new book, which is titled Invisible to Invaluable. And I've got to say, uh, Jane, let's start with you. I just finished reading it and I felt myself saying yes exactly that as I was reading it. Just talk us through the reason why you felt compelled to put pen to paper. Um, well I was absolutely flabbergasted when I found myself becoming invisible. Um, in my 50s having had an, a highly successful advertising career found myself completely unemployable um, and which seems very unfair for what you know we were the first generation of women that came into the workforce en masse and we're just being discarded which is a very dangerous precedent. And Carol, let's let's go to you because you, as a as a television scriptwriter, it's a very competitive world, of course. But you you found it increasingly difficult to get work commissioned. Yes, um, and yes, and age is a, a big part of that because, you know, the media um, industry is one that is youth focused a lot, and so I became aware that yeah, as I was getting older. It was getting harder to get those commissions. So let's just talk through this, um, Carol. Let's come back to oh, Jane. Let's come back to you because you're talking about women who were born between 1950 and 1975, and these these are women who have incredible wisdom, incredible experience. Why aren't we tapping into that? I think it's a societal narrative. Um, again, I said we're the first group that came into the workforce en masse. So there's a narrative that there isn't a place for us. Um, so, you know, I think we need to come together and, and really, you know, show what we can do um, and not be afraid and fight to get back into the workforce, fight to keep our jobs um, and fight to be, you know, made relevant in society and media um, in all places. And Carol, how much of this is it down to ageism is it gender of course racism plays into it as well in terms of uh, discrimination what's what's the mix i think it's everything you've just said i think ageism is a is a big one and so so is gender and so is race um because these are all all things that are uh, if you like protected characteristics under our um equalities um act and so because we've got those protections, that tells me that those are things that affect everything. Those intersections affect everything. And Jane, one of the fascinating points within the, the book that you've both, um, you've both written is how to fight back. And it's important to have an income. It's important to reskill. And it's important how you, you describe to basically embrace tech as well, to not be afraid of it. Yes, look, they say for, the, for millennials, the future of work is lifelong learning and multiple careers. And we're saying to women, let's pioneer this. We pioneered careers before, uh, but also we have a great need. Um, you know, we, we fought for things like paid maternity leave, which we didn't get ourselves. So we now face a generation of women that only have a third of the pension savings of men and 48% have no savings whatsoever. So, you know, we have to get society to notice us, retrain us and employers. And Carol, one fascinating stat that you had is basically women over the age of 50, they spend the most. They're buying stuff for everybody within the family. They, yeah. They've got the, the money in which the advertisers, etc. they really need to listen. Absolutely. That was the thing that when Jane and I, because this book is actually a, an extension of conversations that we've had over seven years. Uh, and I remember to, uh, talking to Jane and Jane telling me that thing, that 
we and it's true when i thought about it, i thought yes i buy for my, the kids i buy for the husband i buy for everybody i buy for myself i buy for everything so yeah it's a big it's a big thing that the advertisers really should take notice of and actually the whole world should take notice of well, let's hope the whole world is listening. Thank you so much, both of you, for appearing on BBC World News. Invisible to Invaluable, co-authored by Carol Russell and Jane Evans. Thank you so much for your time and for spreading the message. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.